everyone, welcome to What Tip Paint In this video we're going to be painting A Holy Night, The Holy Night, I think there's a few of these, haven't actually got this game. This is from The Edge, Dawn for by Awaken Realms. They sent this model in, a couple of others from the game as well when they sent me those prototypes for Nemesis. And I thought I'd finally get around to painting them because I've seen a bunch of you have got this game now and I thought a tutorial, now is the time. Starting off, I'm first of all, showing you the model if you've not seen these and this is a cool model, I really like it, I really like this scale as well, it's big chunky and I was also just showing you that I've primed that using Army Painters color primer that plate mail metal that's the metallic primer that they've got and that's just going to do most of the model for you and then I'm attaching it to my hobby holder as I often do and then we're going to use that metal medium by Vallejo once again this time we're going to use a wash and ink it's um, this is Army Painters jumpsuit the red shade that I use and this was suggested by subscriber Nico TJ, I think that's right. I hope that's how you said it. And he's tried this uh, this metal medium out a few times and suggested using an ink had better results. So let's give it a try and see how we get on. The first thing I notice is it goes very, very pink. So I'm gonna add a bit more, darken this down a little bit and just get a better mixture. Now I've seen this in the past. I've seen other people use this and it often, well, nearly always lightens the color. So the pink is to be semi expected. So that is nothing to do with the ink. Had I used the red, it would also be pink, but it would be more of a noticeable pink. This is quite a translucent pink, quite like in how, how this looks. It's just unfortunate it's not like for like with the yellow that I used last, uh, last time I used this Vallejo Metal Medium. So quite happy with this, it's just pink. Now off camera, I'm gonna do a bunch of coats of that because it was really, really unnoticeable on camera. Uh, so I've just built that up and got it to about where I want. Next, I'm gonna go straight on to the bright gold. And looking at the artwork, some of the guy is gold. So I'm gonna be painting on some of the guy in gold. So we're gonna use the, the edging of that shoulder pad he's got, the hilt of his sword as well. And then his shield front and back has this sort of edging on it, I guess as you call it. And I'm also doing the handle of the shield in the same gold as well. But that's basically gonna be it for the gold. This, this model's incredibly simple. This is incredibly easy. This is a great place to start if you're new to painting or if you want a quick win. And if you have that color prime, you're just gonna save so much time. He's basically silver, gold, splash of red, and you're done. Three colors, bish, bash, bosh, done. I'm gonna move on after the gold, just gonna go straight onto shading. I'm gonna be using Survivor Shader, which is the black wash that I use. So this is like Nuln Oil, if you have it in Citadel. Not quite sure what Vallejo have. Do Vallejo have shades? They must do, right? I just don't know any of them. They must have some inks, right? Somebody let me know in the comments what the black one is. By Vallejo so I can at least quote it from time to time and I'm going to be applying this sort of pinpoint accuracy pinpoint detail I don't know how you describe it I'm just being very very careful with my detail brush and just putting this wash everywhere I want it exactly in between all the joints in the armor I'm just trying not to waste time re-highlighting up the base color when I don't want the wash to pool anyway if that makes sense then I'm going to use that jumpsuit shader which is what I mixed in with that Vallejo metal medium. And I'm just gonna use that red shader just to put on all those red bits of armor I, I put in. After that, I'm gonna use Abomination Gore, Army Painters one from the Zombie Side set. The links to all that is in the description below if you'd like them. I use them on a lot of my videos, quite happy with the paints. It, actually, if you've never noticed that, the description, all the paints are listed in the description and there's links to a bunch of them as well if that's helpful for you guys. So that's his whole cape done in Abomination Gore. Then I'm gonna use Vallejo's Electric Blue. I mention this every time. One of my favorite colors, I think, by Vallejo. It's a really, really bright blue. It's really electric blue. And this is, I'm gonna do his eyes as it's depicted in the art. He's got this random glow across his chest, just two sort of bars to paint in. And then he's got these runes down that edging of his shield on the front. So what I'm doing there is I've got this, this paint is incredibly thin. I've thinned it down and it's going into the detail. I'm basically applying it like a wash, not quite a wash. And then I'm using my thumb or finger just to rub it off anywhere on the, on the top layer it's settled. I just want it to go into those recesses and look like it's um, you know emitting from within the shield. Now I'm just jumping jumping back to jump suit shader just to do the red cape on here. Um, if you didn't see the video last Friday, I did that count, the Dracula from Zombie Side, and I did that using just paint so i'm not using the wash so check that out for a different way of doing the the cloak and this is going to be using a wash just showing you here this is the base coat completely done 
and all of the wash is done. And you could easily stop there, I think. That is infinitely better than the model came, that plain plastic. And if you're not confident with highlighting yet, don't, don't feel that you have to go on to highlighting. You could stop there and be pretty happy with a model that's done very, very quickly. But I will show you how to do the highlights or how I've done the highlights and what I suggest. And we're starting with my insane detail brush by the Army Painter. This now I just want to really, really do some edge highlighting. I'm using Clay Mo Blade, which is a light silver by Army Painter. As I mentioned, links are in the description below if you'd like to copy along with these paints. And I'm just going to go along his armor and edge highlight it, which is it's all in the name. You are just trying to catch all the edges of this silver metal so that plate mail spray that I used at the beginning. I'm, I will be trying to use the edge of the brush. I'll be getting some paint on the brush and using it side on to all the edges. You want it sort of um, adjacent, perpendicular, probably perpendicular. That sounds like the one, right? Everyone remembers maths from school. <laughs> you just want to be catching the edge of the brush down the edge of all of those silver bits. And that's going to give the effect that light is hitting those points and reflecting back like it would do in real life. I'm going to do it exactly the same with the bright gold, just switching up to a bigger brush because these are larger chunks of metal and, well, plastic, or pretend metal, and they're a lot easier to get the brush to. And using a bigger brush is just going to cover the area a little bit faster and just speed up this process, which if you're unconfident with hitting those areas, keep, keep the small brush. By all means, do not swap just because I have. I'm just trying to speed this up. I try and get through my models at a reasonable speed. And I think my accuracy is good enough that I can switch up to a bigger brush here to do the edges. Next, we're going to highlight up that electric blue. And we're going to do that by mixing in some white. So this is white primer by Vallejo, but any white will do. About 50-50, insane detail brush it once more. I'm just going to catch the center of his eyes and the most raised bit of his center chest there as well. I'm not going to bother with the runes because they're just too fiddly and I'm not going to be able to highlight them up well enough. Now onto the cape, I'm going to use Abomination Gore, which was that base color that I used and we're just going to be wide lines. I remember to say it correctly for once. Uh, I've got quite a generous amount on my brush, I'm just painting on some sort of thick, wide lines down all of those edges. So again, it's it's really just edge highlighting with a bit of blending where it widens up the cape towards the, the bottom fold. And you just want to go along catching all those folds, and there's plenty of folds, and they're detailed, but really big details. They're really easy to do. After that, mix in about 50% of prison jumpsuit, a bright orange, and now really use a small amount and just go along the very, very edges and the very most raised parts of all of those folds. And that's going to blend make sure both of those colors are watered down nicely and they're going to blend really, really well together and look really, really great on that model. I'm really happy with that, that cape, but as I mentioned, there will be an alternative way of doing that. We're using no wash, so you're just highlighting it up and down. Uh, there's some shade using paint. And I'll put a link in the description below to the video of the count that Dracula doing that. Then I'm going to paint the base black and use magic blue because, as I mentioned, I haven't actually got this game, but I've heard the like factions and painting the base is going to make it a little bit easier on the board to tell who's who, what's what. So magic blue, just keeping this back as a the blue faction, I think. And also just like love magic blue as well. I think it's a really great color. I'm going to make that a lot easier to see on the board. There he is. That is the Holy Knight, the sword version. There's a hammer version, a mace version. Is there a spear version? I don't know. I think there's a bunch of them. 57 minutes. Mentioned in my last video, don't worry about that time. It's not a race, guys. Take as long or as little as you'd like. Do what, do what suits you. I think that's just a handy comparison between my videos to see how long I spend on each one. So you can work out which one's easy, which one's hard, that sort of thing. This was immensely easy, as though you couldn't tell. It, it was three or four colors. Four colors, I'd say. A couple of washers and then some edge highlighting for the majority of it. And you're going to have a great looking model. Really proud of that. Unfortunately, I haven't got this game, so this will probably go straight to my stuff level on Patreon. So this is going to be given away to somebody at some point on that level. Let me know in the comments below if you've got this game and you would like to see some more. Awaken Realms did send me one or two more models and I'll happily paint those for those of you who are interested. Just let me know. Then finally, subscriber Brian actually suggested that I should maybe try and raise some funds to back Seaman's latest game, Death May Die and suggested trying it on Patreon. So I've set up a goal. I don't know if that's the best way of doing it, but if you're interested in me painting some tutorials for that game, do please check out my Patreon and consider for the next two weeks, I'll have that goal up. And if we make it, I'll back the game and we'll be having some tutorials when it arrives. Thank you all ever so much for watching and I'll catch you next week.